Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're doing the unboxing of the new e-bike I purchased, the Zune bike. I did a previous video on this bike. It was the Amazon store video. It seems to be uh, buttoned up pretty nicely. Got this box here. Obviously we've got some stuff in it that we're gonna need. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, and the box wasn't that heavy. So if, uh, if you're just one person, you can drag the back of it. And uh, they got some handles here on the side and then drag it to where you wanna go. I'm under my enclosure today because we're getting hit by that uh, hurricane, uh, the remnants of the hurricane there here in Vermont. So we got about three inches of rain. This is my smart travel bike. I'll be adding this to my fleet. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take all this stuff out. I'm not going to videotape taking all this out. I'll take it all out. We'll put the parts out so you can see what you have to do to put it together. And then we're going to put it together. So first up was that little brown box I had taken out. I wanted to point this out that the, at least at this point, the charger does have the certification. The um, UL certification, the charger has that. That, that brown box had the uh, cell phone char uh, holder, cell phone holder, the manual to put it together, and then these tools. They give you a whole pack of tools here. These wrenches, this wrench, screwdriver, the two pedals, and this is uh, to get the wheel on. I believe this is for the front wheel. All right, so that was what was in the brown box. Just to give you an understanding of how well they've wrapped this thing. You're, they've given you the air pump. I've got to detach that. Uh, the handlebar is right there. I'll have to detach that. I'll have to get all this off here. I did take the uh, tire out, un unpackage that. That was also in the box to protect it. What else they did was, is they had these little plastic things here. So the bike couldn't puncture the box in areas where they knew the bike itself was gonna push the box. So they protected the bike with those little knobbies. So I wanna do this segment on the video just to show you how well they package this. We're gonna get it all unpackaged and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, I got the wrapping off it. It looks uh, like it's going to be the same assembly as my smart travel bike. Almost identical. The uh, handlebar, the front light, the front wheel. It looks like it's going to be easy mode. They gave me the headlight. It's right there. It should be easy to attach. As I showed you in the other video, the wheel. This should be really easy mode. I did notice that the battery itself has its own on and off switch. So you could just put it in an off position. And if I put it on the on position and hit this button, this is something my other bike didn't have. It actually tells you where you're at with the battery charge. Now we are gonna take this, once we get the bike together, I am gonna take the battery out because it does have that capability. They gave me the keys. The keys are attached right here. I just gotta take my scissors and cut them off. So there's keys that allow you to unlock it and lock it to the bike, but I need to get it out to see if it's got that UL cert. Now I imagine it has a certification. If the charger has it, I imagine the battery has it. It's just on the store page, it didn't say. Okay, so let's get this thing together. I'm not gonna do a play-by-play -play of me putting it together, but I'm gonna get it together and just tell you how long it took me to do it. Okay, the first step was put the handlebars on. That was not hard at all. There's only four screws that hold the handlebar in. And it was this tool that they provided that got it out. I unscrewed the screws. I screwed them back in. I flipped the bike upside down so I could put the tire on. I'm not even looking at the instructions because like I said, this is identical to my smart travel bike. 90% already put together and you're just putting like the last pieces on. Okay, the tire went on smoothly. I took the uh, plastic protective caps off, put it right here. It sat nicely in the brake system. So now I just gotta put this 
through there. This is designed so that you can take the tire off anytime you want, like a quick removal, if you don't want somebody stealing your tire. So we're gonna do that next. Here we are, we put it on. Now I put the uh, lever on this side, not on the brake side. And you'll notice here, there's a metal catch. You can't really see it. That goes in a hole here. You just gotta line up. It's on the inner side of this. You'll see it with the when you do it. Goes in this hole, same thing on the other side. And then you just, uh, you tighten this uh, screw down, hand tighten it down. See how, see right there, you can see it there. You can see how they fall into that hole there where my finger is, tighten this down as much as you can. Then you just flip this bar down and it tightens it right up. Now the manual didn't say what side this was supposed to be on. So I put it on this side, not the brake side. I put the, uh, just the nut on the brake side because here's the brake. So that's how I did it, but it seems to be fine. Spins just fine. I hear no uh, catching. All right, the next thing I put on was the pedals. You got two of them, the right and the left. They, they nicely let you know what side you're on, right pedal. And the pedal itself has an R on it. And you just use this tool they gave you to tighten, tighten the nut. Okay, we're almost done. The next thing is the fender and the light. Honestly, this thing was pretty much assembled. It really required no effort. I mean, effort, but I mean, I think I'm in 15 minutes deep. I've got it together, but it doesn't hurt by the fact that I had already put one together that was really similar to this bike. It looks really sharp too. All right, the fender went on just fine. The difficulty with it was you have to hold both nuts. So you have to use both these tools. You got to use this for the back side, and you got to use that for the front side. It kind of was tricky, but it was easy. It was, you know, it's as long as you can do it by yourself. If you're doing it by yourself, if you had somebody holding that back there on there for you, that would have been easier. Fender's on. Last thing to do is a light. Okay, we have a working functional bike here. I have it off right now. The pedal assist works, the throttle works, the light works, the directionals in the back work. Now, when I first got the bike together, I, I was getting a code here. I'm gonna hold this power button in for five seconds, I believe it is. Oh, am I hitting the right button? Oh, I'm not hitting the power button. <laughs> Gotta hit the power button. Come on, Tarkis, figure that out. So it goes through that cycle of numbers, then it gets you here. It's got a plus and minus, depending on what assist you wanna be in. You can just open the throttle up to move the bike if you want. That works. Now, when I first got going here, I had a flashing four here, gave me an error code. It was this wire right here that was loose. It was a yellow connector wire. I just connected it firmly. The error message went away. The bike now works just fine. It's a seven speed, so you can run the bike just like a normal bike, a seven speed bike. Or you can give it the pedal assist, which I'm gonna do on and off for the headlight. Headlight is really bright, just like my other bike. We are gonna take this out for a spin a little later. I'm gonna wait for the rain to stop a little bit, get it all charged up. But all in all, I think I'm 40 minutes in from getting it out of the box, putting it together. Now, if you're one of those people that have to have the manual to tell you how to put this together, this manual is not that good. It really isn't. I went through it. I, I put the bike together on my own without even looking at this. But then I went through this manual and it's lacking in detail. It really is. So if you know that you can guesstimate what you're supposed to do, this bike's for you. But if you require a detailed photos and instructions, this manual was lacking. Out of all the tools that they gave you, the only two tools, only three tools you needed for the whole project are in my hand right here. And they give them to you. So just these, these tools are what was needed. I did use a knife uh, to open up the box, but I got rid of the knife to take it apart and used a pair of scissors to get the rest of it. You know, I used the knife to get the box open. And then I used a pair of scissors to get the rest of the protective. But overall, it went together just like my smart travel bike. It looks like it's gonna function just like my smart travel bike. So we're gonna have some fun with this. 
Okay, the last part of this video is I did take the battery out. It wasn't that easy to take out because you have to take it, you know, you got to unlock it from this side, but you can't take the battery out until you pull the key out again. And if you're charging, you got to pull the charger out. I don't know how often I'll be pulling the battery out anyway, but this is what it looks like. And then I looked at the battery itself for the UL. I believe it's called the UL, sir. This battery doesn't have one. The charger has one. But it's not labeled on this battery unless you i'm not seeing it and someone else on youtube land is seeing it here it's just calling it a real power battery it's got this little gizmo on the side original genuine um real power battery but i'm not seeing anywhere it's saying that this is a certified battery so if you are in an area like New York and you need a certified battery, I don't think this is going to work for you. Uh, the charger had the, had the cert. This battery doesn't seem to have it unless I'm missing it. I mean, I don't see it here. All right. Well, that's it. That's uh, really the end of my video.